guys, so I'm here today to film my April favorites for you. I don't remember if I did a March one or not, but April's over, so here are my April favorites. Um, I'm gonna start with some skincare things. My first favorite is actually like a treatment. This is called Cortate Ointment. It's a hydrocortisone cortisone ointment with 0.5% of hydrocortisone in it. I don't know much about this. I guess like consult your doctor or your pharmacist before you're gonna use this, but I have a patch of dry skin on the inner corner of my eyelid. I've been talking about this for months, actually probably for over a year because I talked about it last winter when I used to get it, but this year it's so much worse and it won't go away. And so I decided to pick this up because a friend recommended it to me and it cleared my nasty flaky skin up so well. It's back now because my skin hates me, but this literally got rid of it last time in two days. I applied it three times the first day, and then the second day I applied it, I think, two times, and then again before I went to bed, and then I woke up the third day and it was gone. Um, amazing. So if you have, like, dry, flaky skin, this is it. And this is, like, $3 at Walmart for this, like, container that will last you forever. Um, my next favorite is my Marcel Essentials Soothing Cleansing Water. I've been using this in the morning to wash my face because I am too lazy to physically wash my face in the morning, so I put this on a cotton round, wipe it all over my face just to get any of the gunk off that's been like in my pores at night, and it's fantastic. It's also great at removing makeup, like swatches on my hands. This I've been using, or um, to, I've also been using it to clean up because I'm a mess when it comes to putting my mascara on, and so that cleans up waterproof mascara like it's nothing. It's fantastic. This is $14, I believe, and it's going to last you forever because it's 6.7 fluid ounces or 200 milliliters, and I literally just like do one, two little douses on a cotton pad, and it does my entire face. Awesome. Um, Next is something that I've been loving for like ever, but I've just never talked about it before. This is my Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. This is the 500 milliliter size, and I just want you guys to know that I have owned this for two years. Let that sink in. I've owned this for two years, and I use this every single day in the morning to moisturize my face, and there's still stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, this. It's expensive. It's not expensive. It costs $20 for this, which is expensive for, like, drugstore stuff, but I mean... No other drugstore face moisturizer is going to last you two years. This is ginormous. I only use it on my face every single morning. It's fantastic. It's moisturizing. It's non-commodogenic. And it's just like... It just like lasts forever. Because my eye nastiness finally cleared up, I can wear matte eyeshadow again. Because my eye was so gross, I was wearing lots of shimmery eyeshadow because shimmery kind of like hides imperfections on your eye whereas matte like it can tell if like you have wrinkly eyes or like nasty flaky eyes so I've been loving my Ben Nye palette again oh look how pretty it is I love it so much um I love this color which is Au Naturel this color here for a transition color I love this color shell for a highlight it's a pretty serious dupe for Blanc type it's just a little bit less pigmented I also the other day wore this color, which is called Black Brown, and oh, look how pretty that is. I love it. Just love my Ben Nye palette. This is the Glam Shadow palette. I believe Candy Johnson helps to create this, and it's just like miracles in a palette. This will literally last me my entire life. I will never need to buy a matte eyeshadow again. That's a lie, but shh. Don't call me on my lies, people. Come on. Um, another eye favorite I've been loving is my Shu Amora Eyelash Curler. I did a blog post on this that I will link below, and I have a picture of a before and after, um, like before curling my eyelashes and after curling my eyelashes, and it's like a world of difference. This is like the most amazing eyelash curler in the entire world. It's only $20. You need this in your life. Like at first I thought, what could an eyelash curler possibly do for me that another, like the Sally Hansen one can't? If you think that, you're wrong. Yeah, I said it, you're wrong. Um, and then my mascara combo this month I've actually been loving. 
I have like such a love-hate relationship with mascara. Since I actually like my eyelashes a little bit now that I have um, the Shumore eyelash curler, I've been loving using the Maybelline The Falsies mascara. This is waterproof. I do one coat of this and then I do one coat of Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. Like it adds good volume and good length and like together they're awesome. I think I prefer the regular Telescopic to the Telescopic Shocking Extensions but this is pretty decent too. My next favorite has been my concealer combo for the month of April. I might have talked about this in a different favorite videos, but favorites video but I can't remember so I obviously love my Bobbi Brown. Corrector in Light Bisque. Can we just take in, just take this in. Look at this. Do you, like, there's like barely any product in there. I am like digging my fingers into the corners. But like, there's been just a ring around it for like months. This stuff lasts forever. I've probably had this for a year too. Yeah, I've definitely had this for like at least a year. It's fantastic. So I've been putting that all over my under eye area and then I've been using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW15 underneath, I mean on top of that. I used to just do my corrector and then my Bare Minerals Powder but my corrector with this and then my Bare, bare Minerals Powder is just like oh fantastic under the eye area. I don't know what this is supposed to mean but it just looks so good. I actually look alive for once so like that's positive. And I love it. Um, for blush this month, I've been loving my MAC blush in Launch Away. This is from the Hey Sailor collection. And this is a strange blush because if you look at it in the pan, you're just like, oh, that's like a really super pale blush. It looks kind of like Sex Appeal from NARS. Like super pale would look, work for girls with skin tones like mine, but it's not super pale. If I don't know if you can tell by my cheeks but it gives you like this really natural flush kind of a color if I rub my finger into it and then swatch it it actually has like this rosy appearance on your skin so that's what it looks like hopefully this yeah yeah that's what it looks like it's actually like super rosy and like fantastical on your skin so what I'm wearing on my cheeks now, it's a pretty, it's like a natural flush, but it's like a step up from well-dressed for me. So it's like a little bit more, I don't know, daring, I guess, for the spring, but I really like it. Um, I have two lip favorites this month because I've just been loving like a pink stained lip this month. I don't know what it is, but something about that just makes me happy. My first favorite is the Annabelle Twist Up retractable lipstick crayon in kinky pink. This is a very warm toned pink so I picked it up and then I was like ooh it's a little bit too warm for me. This is what it looks like swatched. It's actually super vibrant and looks really pretty on its own but I've been applying this and then I blot it with a tissue twice and this is what happens. It's like this kind of just this nice pink stained lip that looks so pretty and these are pretty moisturizing as well like they feel they go on really not really glossy, but they have do have a little bit of a glossy appearance to them, and then they they just look so pretty when I blot it. I love this. And my second lipstick favorite is the L'Oreal Color Riche lipstick in Electric Fuchsia. This looks a little bit scary in the container, but when you swatch it, like it's the one in the middle, like it's literally so such like a it's like a fuchsia stain, and it just looks so pretty and it's so glossy, and I really do like that. And I got this one on clearance, so win. Um, I have three brushes this month for favorites, which is, like, cool, I guess. Um, my first favorite is this buffing brush from Real Techniques. I love this. I've been using this to apply liquid foundation, like, all the time. It's super dense. I would say this is definitely comparable to the Sigma F80, so if you can get your hands on this, do. I've been loving this for, like, every foundation this month. It's so dirty. Um, I also have been loving my Real Techniques brush, the multitasking brush. I have been loving this for applying my powder over my foundation. This is basically like a kabuki on a stick. It's really dense and you can really buff foundation, buff foundation or I mean powder in, so it's fantastic for that. But it's also really easy to just do like a light setting all over your face. It's also pretty small so you could do contouring or blush with it, like it literally is a multitasking brush. My final brush favorite is another Real Techniques brush. This is the domed shadow brush. It looks like this. 
I've been loving this for setting my concealer under my eyes and applying concealer under my eyes. This brush is fantastic for that. Awesome. Two more favorites. OMG, I love so much stuff this month. I thought I was going to have nothing to talk about. Um, this is the Essence Dotting Tool. There is nail polish all over it because I haven't cleaned it yet because I'm a mess, but... I used the larger size earlier this month and I did mint nails with white polka dots on them. They were so pretty. I'm going to try to insert a picture or I'll put a picture below of my Instagram of them. They looked so fantastic. This is so easy to use. I just put a little bit on a, like a paper plate, dotted my nails. They looked amazing. Everyone complimented them. And this one's by Essence so it's probably cheaper than the ones you get at like Sally's or Sephora. Okay, my last favorite this month is a book. Oh my god, I know. She reads. Who knew? Um, this is Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, I originally didn't want to read this because I was like, oh my god, I heard it's like a Hunger Games ripoff rip -off, and like, uh, me and Candace already and her best friends, so obviously I don't want to read that. But then I saw they're making a movie for it. Um, Shailene Woodley was cast as the lead and I was like, okay, well that's cool. And then I was like, I'm probably going to want to see the movie. Maybe I should read the book. And then I knew a friend of mine owned the book. So I was like, can I borrow your book? So I borrowed this book from a friend and I finished this in less than seven days. I am a really slow reader and I have never in the history of my life finished a novel in less than seven days. This book is almost 500 pages long and I finished it in seven days which for me is a feat and like the text isn't super large I mean it's normal size like 12 point times new roman I'm a font geek so I know um so yeah you need to kind of check out this book it's it is along the same lines as hunger games it's a dystopia this girl lives in this world where your the world is broken up into five factions but they're broken up by personality. So you grow up in your faction with your family and on your 16th birthday, you take like an apt, or not your 16th birthday, but like um, when you're, everyone's 16, there's like, everyone takes an aptitude test that tells you which faction you belong in based on your personality and your reactions and stuff. And then you choose which faction you belong to. And it's like, do you choose the faction to stay with your family or do you choose another faction that like falls with your personality more? Um, so it's really cool that way. And then a bunch of shit goes down and it gets really intense. The last 100 pages are so intense. Like I text my friend being like, oh, I'm almost on the book. I have like 100 pages left. I'll probably finish it tomorrow. I finished it within the hour because the book was so intense I couldn't put it down. There's three books in the series. This is one. I'm reading Insurgent right now, which is the second book, and I'm already halfway through it. The third book comes out, I believe, in November. And then the movie's supposed to come out in 2014. This is so good. It's very, it's slightly similar to like the idea of Hunger Games where it's a female lead and she has to like, it's like very political like kind of landscape, but it is very different. So you should check that out. So that is my favorites for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.